Kentucky State Senator Whitney Westerfield, a Republican from Christian counties behind the bill. He spoke to the full Senate ahead of the vote on SB 110. I believe that life begins at conception, but even if you don't, there's no question that there are obligations and costs involved with having a child before that child is born. Westerfield then listed off the numerous expenses his family had from his wife's pregnancy. We've got health insurance and I've got a stack of bills with co-pays and premiums and so forth on my desk right now that I'll be paying tonight electronically. So I know that there are costs involved and that's before we even get to uh, buying three car seats and three of everything else between now and when these babies show up. The bill wouldn't cover every child support case though, only those in which the mom files for support before the child's first birthday. The bill passed the Senate with strong bipartisan support, 36 yeas, with only no votes coming from two Republicans. Any of us with children know that that is not cheap. Uh, and one thing that I've learned is that, um, and my colleague has said many times before us, that the other parent should be paying that support. They should be helping out. Tamara Weeder with Planned Parenthood says the organization is in favor of the bill in its current state. However, she says the group was opposed to the original version. She says that version said child support could be sought any time after conception. Weeder says that could have been used to lay the foundation for a path to personhood. Personhood argues that fetuses are people with the same rights as anyone else. All you have to do is look at Alabama and we have been warning uh, people since Dobbs fell and even before Dobbs fell that it's not just abortion access that's at risk, it's IVF, it's birth control and personhood bills directly put that at risk. Now there is a similar bill in the state house, Bill 243. That would go further than this bill. It says that child support can be sought any time after conception because that embryo is a child. Now that's the language that Planned Parenthood says is being used to create the foundation that fetuses should have the same rights as everyone else. Now that bill has stalled in how in a house committee. You can always find our stories here on YouTube, but go ahead and tap subscribe. That way you're always in the know.